One of the most successful VTOL aircraft is the helicopter. Although its propulsion system has its complexities, but it does provide a versatility in flight that is unmatched. Such as the degree of control in flight this aircraft provides, that it is often said, a helicopter doesn't fly, it beats the air into submission. And therefore for urban air mobility and for emergency medical services, Electric helicopters can provide the easier and more natural route for certification rather than a novel configuration like Lift Plus Cruise that is the choice of so many EVTOL startups. In this video, we are going to look at four different electric helicopters. We will look at the data and explore the advantages of the electrification of helicopters. First, we have to go back to the year 2010. This was the time Tesla Roadster had surprised the auto industry and Nissan Leaf became the first mainstream electric car. Battery technology was developing leaps and bounds. In light of these developments, Sikorsky announced and displayed its electric helicopter at the Oshkosh 2010. It was a modified version of their own S300C. The Lycoming gasoline engine of 190 horsepower 5.9 liter 4 cylinder was replaced with an electric motor, new motor mount and two battery packs located on each side of the pilot. The rotor control, transmission and other systems were left essentially unchanged. The battery pack weighed a total of 530 kilograms. The total energy of the pack was only 6.2 kilowatt hours. The pack level energy density being just 30.5 watt hour per kilograms. The energy density of this custom made battery pack was even lower compared to the automotive battery packs at the time. Sikorsky estimated that with one pilot only, the helicopter could fly for 12 to 15 minutes at a top speed of 80 knots. It was also claimed that Firefly would be able to auto rotate if the batteries lost their power and the pilot could safely land the helicopter in any open space. The aircraft, however, was never flown. While the Sikorsky Firefly has been called the world's first all-electric helicopter, it was a French-based company that flew the world's first all-electric helicopter named Solution F with a manned tethered flight on August 4, 2011 and the first free manned hover flight on August 12, 2011. In July and August 2011, the Solution F flew for a total of 99.5 minutes in 29 flights, some of which extended for 6 minutes. The helicopter was powered by lithium polymer pouch batteries providing 160 watt hour per kilogram, which was a much improved energy density compared to Sikorsky Firefly. And this brings us to the most renowned electric helicopter, which is the ER-44. It is the electrified version of the famous Robinson R44 that is being developed by Tier 1 Engineering. This converted helicopter could represent the world's first commercially viable electric helicopter. On 29th October 2022, the ER44 successfully flew between two airports with a total flight duration of 21 minutes. It was noted that the aircraft was much quieter in its flight. This wasn't the first time the ER-44 had made headlines. Tier 1 Engineering has been developing this aircraft for more than 7 years. In 2016, the ER-44 flew for 5 minutes at 400 feet. In 2017, it was flown at 800 feet for 30 minutes. In 2018, it set a Guinness World Record for the furthest distance traveled by an electric helicopter as it flew more than 30 nautical miles or 55 kilometers at an average speed of 80 knots. Tier 1 explains that the reason why the R44 was adopted was because it is one of the most produced general aviation aircraft with over 7,000 units built. This meant that the parts were readily available the aircraft could be serviced worldwide and minimal pilot training would be required. Similarly, type certification of the airframe would not be required. Furthermore, the R44 had a low empty weight fraction. The empty weight fraction is simply the ratio of empty weight of the aircraft to the maximum takeoff weight. If the aircraft has a low empty weight fraction, then it means it can carry a much higher payload per unit weight of the aircraft. 
This is an important parameter as the battery has a lower energy density to aviation fuel. Finally, as the R44 has low disc loading, it has a higher VTOL propulsive efficiency and lower noise. Over time, the battery pack and the motor for the ER44 have been changed for its different iterations. For the first model, Bramo lithium polymer batteries were used with a control system from Reinhardt Motion System and motors from Yasa Motors of Oxford, UK. For the latest model, the Magni X provides the motors, the Magni 250 and the controller. The battery pack is made up of TB17 modules which have a better energy density compared to the older iteration, but it still is behind the energy density of most aviation battery packs. From the data sheet, a value of 64.4 watt hour per kilogram of energy density is mentioned. The battery pack weight was reduced from 500 kilograms to 365 kilograms in the latest iteration, the V3. This freed up an extra 135 kilograms meaning an additional pilot and payload can be added while keeping the maximum gross weight of 1135 kilograms. The current battery has been designed such that it can be easily swapped with a charged one within 15 minutes, which is better than waiting for a recharge, which could take an hour. From the logged flight data, the following values of power consumptions of the ER44 were captured. The average power during cruise was 105 kilowatts. For hovering in ground effect, it was 140 kilowatts. And for out of ground effect hover, it was 160 kilowatts. There are further improvements being made in this aircraft. Lithium iron phosphate battery used by the ER44 is safe, but it packs a very low energy. A more energy dense lithium ion chemistry such as NMC can add up to three times more energy capacity. The ER44 primary purpose is organ delivery. It requires a payload capacity of 272 kilograms to accommodate two pilots and three organs. Tier 1 believes this zero emission helicopters will cost about 20% less to operate than the piston powered R44 thanks to more efficient drivetrain and low maintenance cost. It will also be about 20% quieter and will be easier to operate. It is interesting to note that a 90 kg Jetson 1 aircraft with a 75 kg pilot consumes about 37 kilowatts of total power, whereas the ER44 consumes 160 kW of power with the pilot on board. But the most important thing is that the ER44 still has space and lifting capacity of 194 kilograms in addition to the pilot. Another noteworthy development is by the Piasetsky who are developing the world's first electric helicopter that will be powered by hydrogen. In the initial phase, Piasetsky will use Aerotex Coex 2D helicopter as a testbed. It will replace the existing powertrain with one which will consist of hydrogen fuel cells, a battery, power electronics, and one electric motor. The power source will use an 80 kilowatt high temperature proton exchange membrane fuel cell. The ultimate goal is to develop the much awaited PA-890, which is a five seat multiple fit out capable helicopter that will have a range of 230 miles plus reserves. The fuel cells used in this aircraft will be the turbo air cooled PM fuel cells with a total capacity of 560 kilowatts supplied by High Point. Note that High Point has one of the lightest aviation grade fuel cells in the market with a specific power of two kilowatts per kilogram and energy density of 1500 watt hours per kilogram. The PA-890 will be a slow rotor winged helicopter design with a large top rotor and variable incident wings that can fold back against the side of the aircraft in VTOL and hover phases of flight. The wings will open right out to unload the top rotor and allow it to slow down for quieter and more efficient forward flight at speed. An electric tail rotor provides anti-torque and yaw control at hover or in slow flight, but it is also designed to swivel back and become forward propulsion unit once the PA-890 is flying on the wing. 
it would be interesting to do a comparative study between multi-rotor aircraft versus coaxial rotors and single rotors and look at the energy consumption in detail. And we intend to do that in a future video. Special thanks to Martin Garish who pointed out why electric helicopters will be a major force in the upcoming electric aviation industry. For now, it is getting clearer that electric helicopters are quieter, more efficient, and have less vibration problems. The motors can be custom designed to spin at the required RPM and torque without the need of complex gearbox system. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.